I heard what you were saying and I was disgusted. Hey, free gang, we are coming to you live, but not live, from a motorway in England. The M40, in fact, and we're heading up to Burton. Now, Burton is the place where our offices for ethics are. So we're gonna go up there, got some things to sort out, hang out with the team, be able to show you our new spring range as well, which finally spring seems to be catching up with the range. Because when there's been snow recently in spring, it's not a good look for spring. Spring's catching up with the rain, that's brilliant. Yeah, we're leading spring, that's what we're doing. We're, we're taking control of the seasons. You're like, what's with the weather, man? What is with the weather? What's with British people talking about the weather? Oh, we do it a lot. Oh, the old weather is sunny. Some people just say the obvious. Oh, it's sunny. Oh, it's raining. Are you one of these people? Comment below. And Jojo, you are dressed as the dragon today. Have a little go on your iPad. Are you looking forward to seeing Tim, Benj, and the rest of the team? Yeah, there's two people that work at the office. Benj and Ellis. You might have seen in other vlogs. Bob always calls them Bellis. Well, it's good. I, I chat with them both on a group chat. And the amount of times I'll, I'll just say to Kay, I'm spinning the bench and Ellis spinning the bench and I say, ugh, Bellis. What if it Eng? Eng? Wouldn't really work, would it? Or Bliss. I love it when people, when you put two names together, like people do it with Jojo and Sienna. Joanna. They'd no, be they, Joanna. I think they said Joanna. See Jo. What would we be? What would our <laughs> Cobb. Like, Cobb. <laughs> Brady, <laughs> Bob T. Uh, it doesn't work. Some some what names it works really well with. It'd be good if like if you went by my original name, Martin, then it'd be Matey. Oh, oh yeah. Matey! Yeah, yeah, that could work. Does anyone else do that with their their partners' names? Merge the two to make a hybrid name. Comment below. I want to see these hybrid names and how potentially ridiculous they could be. No offense, you might actually embrace Why it, so they might that? be beautiful and lovely. They're ridiculous. Nothing's gonna be worse than Cobb. <laughs> No. If you've got worse than Cobb, I want to hear it. We've already stopped off to use the toilet, so we probably won't stop again for any sort of breakfast or snackage. And especially as Katie has taken the leftovers of party food and crammed them into one huge tub. There's random greens in here, crisps, chocolate strawberries. You literally have just thrown everything in here without any sort of thought for organisation, have you? I didn't have time. Who would eat that? Who would eat that? This does look rather appealing. Comment below who would eat that. Don't ask them to do that. No one would eat that stuff. Well, you've eaten it already. <laughs> I was driving to start off with, and then Katie took full advantage of this and just started getting right stuck in. But it's food, it's gotta be eaten. The thing is, I say who would eat that? I would eat it because yeah. I eat anything. Because I'm like the least fussy person on the planet. After me. No way. Yeah. No way. Celery. You only started eating celery now. You used to be fussy about celery. No, I didn't. I just preferred not to eat it. I eat it all the time now. I eat everything. No, 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 no. I eat everything. No, I eat everything. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I eat mixtures. I would eat. You eat stupid combos. Like for that party food, I did chocolate coated Pringles. Who would do that? I hate them. You, you wouldn't choose to. I chose to eat that. Let's not forget that you've done these things before and they've gone horribly wrong. Chocolate and Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> I'm not letting you forget that one. There are other ones as well. All right. And then there's ones that I've done, then you've got all, oh, remember um, apple and salt and vinegar cracker jack? That was a good combo, that was a yeah. good combo. Yeah. What you do is you take a salt and vinegar cracker jack in one hand. Talking like it's your own invention, eh? And then apple in the other. Take a bite of a snacker jack, then you take a bite of apple and you just keep alternating and yeah, that's a good combo. My combo though. So don't try and make out, oh yeah, you do these unique combos. I come up with some good stuff too. Oh, 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 I've got one. I've got one. You go to Frankie and Benny's, the pizzas there are really nice, but they really like malleable. You order chips, you put chips in a slice of pizza, roll it up and that's a good combo. But these are really unhealthy combos. I'm not like suggesting people do this stuff all the time. Yeah, you are. Good Which job. opens the floor to you, free gang. Comment below, what are your weird different food combos that potentially no one else has done? Doesn't matter if they're unhealthy because we're not advocating eating this as a lifestyle. We're just saying about interesting things you've experimented with and put together. I want to see some interesting combos. Don't let us down, comment below. And also, what are the ones that you've done before and people have gone, ugh, that's disgusting. Yeah, that you've lost friendships over. Yeah, you've lost friendships over I didn't these, mean that. These, yeah, these <laughs> combos. No, because I've had that so many times. You've lost friendships over. No, no, I've not lost friendships, but I've been eating like two things together and people have gone, oh, that's disgusting, how can yeah. you eat that? Yeah. I've had 
that so many times. The only one I've ever had it with is the chocolate and Yorkshire pudding. You lost my respect. Good car, Joe. Anyway, on to Burton. What's happened? <laughs> you're here in the office, you know when you're ever you're pulling up and you're hearing this and you're like, what's that? There's just this little mud guard here. It just popped out. Oh no. It's all right, everything's fine. It's all popped back in. At the office now, Jojo's leading the way. Oh, hello. Hello. As the main man. Oh, yeah. these pros. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, right, so we're in the office now and it's all kicking off. Jojo's taking over, kicking the ball around. This is what this uh, ethical clothing company gets up to. We <laughs> Megs and then beat the kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that what you had to touch the doorknob? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. you get the so much clothing now. It's taking over the place. And do shelf. Sean the shelf. Sean the shelf. Big Sean. Big Sean. <laughs> Big Sean. Yay, go! I've got all new the pastel clothing here as well. Pink sweaters. Baby blue sweaters. <laughs> White sweatpants. <laughs> Are you right down there? <laughs> We've got the white V-gangs as well. Got these in blue and in pink. A lot of you have been asking as well, my, why <laughs> me and Katie are always wearing... Shut up! <laughs> why me and Katie always wear the same clothes? Well, Ethics is a brand that I work for. This man who's sleeping on top of a shelf up here is our owner. <laughs> Get back to work, Jojo. What <laughs> this cool dude is Benj, and Ellis only one actually doing any sort of work right now. <laughs> yeah, I bet most well, people yeah. think that ethics is like a civilized like workplace with like a nice office and everything, and then they then they see this. Well, this is what it's like. It's a family. The boy comes in, we have fun. Ellis is all like, no, no fun, work. I just can't kick a ball. Do you just wait. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was that a left peg as well? Oh. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo, time to go. You too, Benj. Do you know what? I think every time this office gets bigger and we get more racks, there's not going to be any room for him to run around and do this, but he still manages he still to do it. it. He still finds it. He still finds it. Knock me out off. Do the ball that's off. The other rack, the other rail. Okay. Come on then, Jojo, shoes. You want to go to a park? Jojo, we're going to the park. <laughs> Bench, why'd you have to start another thing? We got rid of the ball. See, you just replaced it. I'm sending you out. Let us know in the comments no, if you want to go to free shipping from UK. <laughs> yeah. Make an offer. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you two stop talking about actual work related stuff? Don't worry about what we're doing. Look I've seen what's done. Ladies, Bench. Ladies. So we're all done at the office now. It never ceases to amaze me how Jojo can turn such a calm office working environment into... Mayhem. Yeah, soft play area. <laughs> but to be honest, Ben and Tim are just as bad. It's like we get rid of the giant ball and then Ben goes and gets a sack and starts attacking Jojo with that instead. But it's all good fun. Now we're off to the park, are we? Yes, we're going to a Yay. park, a different park. Ben and Ellis are about to shoot off somewhere. So we're going to go into a park near Tim, hang out with him for the rest of the day, I think. We're going to maybe do yoga with him later. Oh yeah, nice bit of yoga. So we've just gone out for a walk. It's a bit chilly, it's not that bad though, is it? Yes. No, 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 it's, it's, it's warm. It's you, warm. Oh, if you're saying it's warm, scarf lady over there. <laughs> We're getting the feet out just to connect. Lovely bit of earth out here. Yeah. Jojo, you had no hesitation, did you? Shoes and socks off. Hello. Coat off as well. well. Steady on. And you're just going to run, aren't you? Give me those shoes on. What are you doing, mummy? <laughs> if any of you are wondering what's the deal with going barefoot out on the grass like this, give it a go. Even doctors recommend it. It's really grounding. It's really refreshing, regardless of whether it is cold or hot. Katie, you know, she gets cold feet a lot of the time and has not hesitated taking them off. So. As long as you don't obviously go somewhere where there's going to be glass and dangerous things. Yeah, parks and areas like this and fields, it's always a good shout. Run, mummy. Let's get those guys. You're going through? Go around the stones. Oh, yeah, get on that muddy bit on the right. Just dipping my feet in. Just dipping your feet in? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Squidginess. Oh, it's, it's a deeper one, yeah, it's a deep one. Go on, go in. I said, yeah, you better on me, man. Need this at the end, really, to rinse off. You cleaned off your feet now. So we just come back at Tim's. We had a really nice walk out. We actually went wading through a whole lake as well, knee deep. Jojo was on my back, but the battery cut out. But then we found a playground. There's always a playground somewhere as well. Is there grass? There's a playground. And just like last time when we came back to Tim's, his lovely bed and serene living place has been turned into a fort. Can you show us around? Should we, should we do a fort tour? It's always big. Separate video coming up after this a tour of the fort. Not really. Don't wait for that. 
This is actually pretty cozy. It's this a is a fort, he's doing a good job here. This is a dope fort. Yeah. You don't mind your bed being messed up as long as it's turned into something good. Cozy yeah. fort. You've joined us deep into a <gasps> fort session where there is some sort of creature that has hatched inside the fort and is squawking for its mother to come and feed. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo, what is that? It's a chick! It's a chick! There's a bird in there. Are you mummy bird? Yeah. <laughs> so we've done Tim a favour by getting Jojo out of there. We managed to tidy up the fort into a, turn it into a bed eventually, didn't we? What? Yeah. I'm, I'm, talking to me. <laughs> I'm just talking to no one, don't worry. You, we are still married, right? You, you do still acknowledge me as being... I think so. Yeah? Give me the keys. So we're on the way back to our hotel now. You're going out to yoga, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to go and do yoga with Tim and Brett's going to yeah. be there yeah, as Brett's well. Yeah, Brett's going to be there too. Yeah. And I'm just going to chill with Jojo. But um, I thought I'd take this opportunity just to let you oh, know... yeah. Are you going to tell them about the, the message that you just got? The okay, Katie loves when this happens. In no, fact, she I'm... goes very, very um, oh, no. panicky. Because we just got a message from someone, one of you guys, who's basically said that you saw us the other day in a restaurant and was sat right behind us. And you wanted to say hello, but you chose not to. Which but, is fine. But this happens so often. It's really lovely that we get these messages. But first of all, we started to go, oh, that's, that's all, you so know, sweet. They, they... And then it's happened so many times and it just dawns on you and you go, oh my God goodness what was i talk what were we talking about yeah <laughs> like because the random conversations that sometimes come out not that we have anything to hide but i just like we'll randomly say oh i need to buy some new knickers or like something like yeah. that or there was something we were actually talking about in that restaurant the other day it was like just silly stuff just like random silly stuff because a know? lot of random silliness you you hear some of the random silliness that comes out on the channel sometimes there is worse and more random more silly that only us two can even comprehend. Yeah, and some of the, like, the, the random jokes that Jojo comes out with, and sometimes you never worry about anyone overhearing it because you think they're strangers, but then you think, no, they're free game. But you think if they were too shy to say hello to us, maybe they were like listening yeah. to us. Yeah, oh no, yeah. And like. I never connected those dots before. I just thought, oh, it's sweet, they're too shy. What if we didn't realize they're about to go, excuse me, and you hear this, ah, oh, my knickers, oh God, and they just run away. You know, like the personal conversations you only have with a partner. Yeah, if you've ever been in that position and yeah, fair enough, too shy to come and say hello or whatever, I sincerely apologize if you've heard something come out in conversation from us, which has shocked you. <laughs> we are nice people. It's not shocking stuff. It's just like things that you just like, personal things that you just- Things that might make you go, what? Like, has that ever happened to you guys when you've been somewhere and then You've been talking about something like really personal and then there's been some like yeah. someone sat right next to you or behind you or it's not like we whisper we're whispering it it's normal conversation no, we're loud we're yeah. so loud especially as well. you of course they would be able to hear us because they're so loud but yeah every time we get that message oh i'm sat behind you in a restaurant the first thing i think of is what were we talking about now? we had it in brighton didn't we that was the day when we were like oh my god we were talking about this we were talking about that jojo was doing all that silly stuff Jojo, it's like, yeah, Jojo was like jumping around on the table and yeah. throwing his foot. Yeah, they stayed in, they were in the same hotel at yeah, first, exactly, weren't they, yeah. those people? When we went to see Darren and Georgian. This is life, I guess. Embarrassing moments are just a part of life, aren't they? Potentially part of your life now as well. Next message will be, it won't be I was sat next to you in a restaurant. The next message will be, I overheard you talking yeah. about dot, dot, dot. Yeah, it, it won't be, I was too shy to come over. It's like, I was too, I too was scared just, to come yeah. over. No, 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 it won't be, I was too shy to come over. It'll be, I heard what you were saying and I was disgusted. Yeah. We don't say anything bad though. No, no, no. Yeah, because no. we're not, we're not like that. We're not no. bad people. So we would never say, but it's just like, just personal. You know, silly stories or sense of humor that you have between yourselves or between your friends that only you guys get. That sort of stuff. Like, and, and ours is very strange. Like the time that I did a poo in the toilet and someone went in there after me and I blamed it on Jojo. Yes. <laughs> that, what? Oh. <laughs> he doesn't even know. I do. I just heard it. You, well, you know Why now, yeah. You blame me for doing a poop in the toilet. That's I don't know. I didn't know what to say. But yeah, share your embarrassing stories. What's the worst thing that's happened where you've been overheard saying something really 
<laughs> These comment requests are getting too strange. Yeah, but this, this is going to be a good comment. This is I'm be scared a, to see what I can read. This is going to be a funny comment section. Yeah, comment below if you dare. I just wonder how many more of these messages we're going to we're going to get. It's, it is lovely though. I mean, let me just make it clear that if you're ever in a place where you do see us a public place, come and say hello. It doesn't yeah. matter if we're eating or whatever. I don't care if we're eating. Always come. Come and tell us off about whatever we may be saying. Right now, can we go to the hotel? We're surely no one can overhear us. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh my god, hotels as well. Do you remember that time we went to the hotel in Norwich and the woman there knew us? Ah, yes, when we worked on reception. What were we saying when we were walking in? Oh god, it's happened again. Here before. We have, you look like the proper little traveller with your bags. Oh, that's cute. He was walking along there and he was like, oh, they do breakfast, lunch and dinner. Oh, this is the one where it's an absolute mission. They put us like the furthest away room last time, didn't they? They better not do that again. No, I want a close one. You ready to check in? Oh, thank you, good sir. Go and find it, Jojo. She said it's up the stairs and apparently it's not a complete mission like it was last time. Do you remember the one last time we had to go all the way across the hotel? Yeah. It was like a maze last time. Look at him with those bags. You're strong. Number 17, which way do we go? Over there? This is a bit further. When they said just up the stairs and down there. Is that one again? It can't be, no. They put us in the same room. They can't have. Why are they putting us so far away? This is not, this is, oh my God. It, it, it is. <laughs> no! Don't, don't be quiet. It is the same one. It's the same one miles away. You don't need to go to yoga. You get a workout walking to and from. Oh, don't, yeah. Wait, don't abandon your bags. I put one on. So I expect this is my bed then. Stop turning lights off. What the hell? You're not giving them a chance. What the hell? Yes. <laughs> Stop turning Shut lights up. off. We need the distiller on as a heat source. I know. It's freezing. We asked them to get some milk and they've gone next door and grabbed us some soy milk. Three little jugs here. Pretty cool. And they were saying, well, if you want to keep them cool, the best place is by the window. But we all know that the coolest place is uh, right here. What? What? No, 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 no. You, you go back in the bathroom. Back in the bathroom. Back in the bathroom. <laughs> Katie's gone out to yoga now. So that leaves me and Jojo in the hotel alone. As many of you may know that's been following the channel for a long time, when we're in hotels like Premier Inns or Travel Lodges, what do we end up doing? Watching you being framed. And Jojo absolutely goes crazy at this show. Oh yeah! Look at this one. Bye! Bye! <laughs> you, 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 you use too much energy. Engine. Oh, So we've had all our fun at the hotel room. Me and Jojo have had all of you being framed that we can take and all of the other fun that a hotel room provides. Katie's come back and she's bathing Jojo right now, which has left me to do the shout outs and the whole roundup all by myself. So shout outs for the following people who have asked for them. So shout out to KJ, More on Daily, Slime Life, Lulu Lots, and CB Veg Figs. Thanks so much guys for all of your shouts. I really appreciate it. If any of you guys want shout outs, leave them in the comments below and we will get to them as soon as we can. And if you're new to this channel and you're liking following our travels and our family vlogs, we'd love it if you subscribed and enlisted yourself into the free gang. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell because then you will know when we are uploading. So thanks so much guys for always watching and we will see you in the next video. Peace out.